What's up everyone? Now for this video, I decided why not I'm um, do a video about um the Fast and Furious spin-offs that I want to see. Now the Hobbs Shaw movie was great. Um you can even consider Too Fast Too Furious as sort of a spin-off. Because you don't have, you know, Vin Diesel played by Dom and Too Fast Too Furious, so you could consider to Fast and Furious is a sort of a spinoff thing. They introduce you to new characters. <laughs> Excuse me. And so, basically, this franchise has sort of already been a cinematic universe. Now, um, but, of course, there's more spinoffs coming out. Now, the first spinoff I want to see is, of course, the Hobbs and Shaw 2 spinoff. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw 2. They are, they are talking about Making Hobbs and Shaw 2. They're talking about that now as we speak. You know, even du Dwayne The Rock Johnson mentioned it on a live. That um, Hobbs and Shaw 2 is basically in the works. So yeah, that's an another spinoff I definitely want to see. Because the first one was freaking great. Love to Hobbs and Shaw. And um, the next one is Hobbs and Shaw 3. Y'all might say, well, damn, Hobbs and Shaw 2 hadn't came out yet. The point is, I want a Hobbs and Shaw spinoff to have a trilogy as its own, but still be a part of the U Fast and Furious universe, if that makes any sense. And also have its own little trilogy with Hobbs and Shaw, if they could do that. But all everything leads into Final Fast and Furious movie. Everything leads to Fast and Furious 10, or Vin Diesel did announce that Fast would be split into two parts so it's like everything leads to the final final Fast and Furious film so yeah I want to see that and next one of course is what I want to see is um is a Mia and Letty spinoff and I'm pretty sure they're working on that now because um Diesel did say in like a short interview um that this um the script came in for it's getting her to come in for the female spinoff. And if you notice by the Fast 9 trailer, it showed um, Led, a scene with Letty and Mia in it that they're both whooping ass. So that's saying right there that this could be their spinoff with Letty and um, with Letty and Mia. So yeah, I want to see that spinoff. And of course, if they do that spinoff, it might show to where they're working... Them two, or, um, the government wants to work with just them two or something. And then it shows Vin Diesel at the very beginning of the film. That's all it shows him in that little spinoff with the female spinoff. So, so yeah, I, I think it could work definitely. And the next spinoff I want to see is the um, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift 2. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift 2. I want to see that spinoff. Now... First Tokyo Drift, you know, the Fast First Tokyo Drift, it's sort of considered a spinoff, you know, um, because you don't got no, no, none of the original cast members, but Vin Diesel showed up at the very end of the film, so, um, yeah, so I want to see, um, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Part 2, um, a lot of people hate the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, that's the first one I've seen, and, I still love it. I love that movie. Of course, it ain't my number one favorite, but but it got me. Excuse me. It's what got me into this whole franchise, and I just think that the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift Part Two will be a great idea because a lot of people, there, well, quite a few people. There's some people that misses. The film that's just about racing. Now, what better way to make a movie that's like a Fast and Furious movie that's just about racing to make a Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Part Two? See, that that would be good because it, everybody wins, you know. Because this franchise still has racing scenes here and there throughout the sprinkle throughout the film, so this franchise pleases just about anybody. So if they do a Fast and Furious, um. I'm going to do Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Part 2. That will please a lot of fans. And it will definitely please me. Because um, I didn't know there was any other Fast and Furious movies back when 
I first saw, watched the Fast and the Furious took a drift. Like, I did not know there was other ones. And there was a little bit more Fast and Furious movies out there when I first seen it. And then this thing I know, I watched, I ended up watching the whole, all the movies. And then all of a sudden I've been going to theaters, going to go see Fast and Furious 6. That's the first Fast and Furious movie I've seen in theater it was Fast and Furious 6. I remember renting Fast 5 off the Red Box. That's the first time I've ever seen Fast 5. And then Fast Furious 6 came in the theater, watched it, freaking loved it. I love that movie. And then you, yeah. and then all of a sudden Fury 7 came in theaters, came out in theaters, watched that one also. And then I watched Fast 8 in the theaters. And then I ended up watching, of course, Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw in the theaters. So yeah, I've seen like about um, four Fast and Furious movies in the theaters. So yeah, um, Fast and Furious, I've been watching all the films throughout the years, and, um, and I wouldn't mind watching, um, like, a, I wouldn't mind seeing a, um, Fast and Furious Took a Drift Part 2 spinoff, you know, that would be freaking amazing, so yeah, this is a video, um, about the, fa um, the Fast and Furious spinoffs that I want to see. So yeah, guess it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know new videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out. Peace.